since you talked about a little earlier today, there's a lot of things that Congress needs to do to support renewables. Uh, what do you think are the primary things that Congress should be doing to support the wind industry? Well, the number one thing that they need to do as quickly as possible is to extend the renewable energy production tax credit, the, the credits that support wind, solar, geothermal, and other renewable technologies. Uh, th this has become a critical, critical uh, time for the industry. We are actually projecting that the industry will shrink next year in terms of new capacity because the Congress has been so slow to get this done. And what do you think is the potential for growth if they do actually go ahead and, and pass it for, you know, X number of more years? Well, I, the, the potential for this industry is almost unlimited. We have a, an analysis that the Department of Energy provided in May that shows that it is extremely feasible for winds to provide 20% of the nation's electricity by 2030. Now that might not sound like that much, but it represents over half a million jobs. It represents the CO2 reduction benefits equivalent to removing 140 million vehicles off the road, virtually uh, flatlining the expected emissions growth from the electric industry. And you mentioned so the, the obviously the tax credits issue, but what other things should Congress be doing to support the, in, the growth of, of the renewables industry? We've been spending some time thinking about that. I spent a lot of time actually looking at what should the agenda be for a new administration and a new Congress. And there are a number of very important pieces to that. Um, the critical thing is long-term stable policy that will avoid these kinds of on-again, off-again cycles that the industry has been subjected to because of the short-term production tax credit. So that can take a number of forms. Number one is a long-term extension of the wind production tax credit of at least five years. Number two, a federal renewable portfolio standard that would provide the kind of long-term stability through 2020 or 2025 that we think would, you know, that would un unleash virtually billions of dollars of investment in this sector because there'd be clarity about the direction of the country and the commitment that the country had to renewable technologies. Number three is dealing with the climate challenge, actually putting a price on carbon and ensuring that we are, are moving to dealing uh, very, very uh, in a very uh, focused way on the, the, the climate challenge. And number four is putting in place the transmission infrastructure that will be essential for the U.S. to achieve its wind energy potential. That's perhaps the most challenging constraint facing the industry. If we really want to harvest the wind on the Great Plains, we will need long, long range uh, regional transmission lines that will bring the energy from the Great Plains, where there's such a great resource, to where the people live. And uh, are you confident that, that legislators and politicians are catching on to the importance of this issue? I mean, it seems for a long time it, it wasn't really on the national dialogue in the way we see it now. It's a pretty interesting thing to see wind turbines in the ads of both presidential candidates to arrive at an event like this and to find so many political leaders focused on the new energy economy, the, the, the green energy revolution. So everybody's talking about it. The question is, are they ready to get it done? And at this point, you know, Congress, despite the fact that I think 90% of the members of Congress support extending the renewable tax credits, they've not been able to work together to find a way to get that done. Are you confident that they'll figure out a way to get done this year before, before they run out, or? I'm hoping. I'm hoping. You know, we've seen enough up to this point to be very concerned that they won't. But uh, I'm, we're certainly very focused on uh, trying to convey that message that it's essential. If they, we are on such a roll. There's so much momentum behind the wind and solar industries today. Uh, it, it just is so, it would be so unfortunate to lose that momentum when there, there's so much going in the right direction.